Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm Scott Bernstein. We're going to do another LCN Power Ranking, uh, Fall 2024 Power Rankings for New Jersey, La Cosa Nostra. We're going to hit on a bunch of different families in this top 10. It's actually 11 guys. I got two two guys top, uh, tied at 10. Uh, we're going to go from 10 to 1. So we'll start uh, tied at number 10. We got uh, Sammy San Martino. The Bananos uh, jersey guy and uh, Mikey Cigars Coppola. Genovese jersey guy just got out of prison a year or two ago. Uh, you know, both of these guys are are heavyweights and could be a lot higher on this ranking. Number nine, Pino Schifolitti, a uh, long time to Calvacante, one of uh, the admins, top advisors, could be consigliere right now. Number eight, Phil Abramo, a.k.a. The Wizard. This guy is a, 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 a master um, white-collar racketeer, a great mind for numbers, one of the uh, most accomplished kind of Wall Street wise guys of the last 30, 40 years. Um, going to uh, number seven and number six, are both from the Lucchese's. Number seven, little Joe Perna. Number six, Big Joe Perna. Uh, Big Joe is the reputed capo right now for the Lucchese's in New Jersey. His cousin, Little Joe, is a guy that a lot of people see as a, possibly a, a, a future administrator, one of the most connected and well-liked guys in East Coast LCN. Brings us to our top five. So, uh, number five, Joe Scoops Licata. He was in our uh, Philadelphia ranking. He runs the New Jersey crew for the Bruno Scarfo crime family. He is an OG's OG. Um, very colorful. Another guy that has a lot of love for him, uh, no matter what city or state you go into. Um, very connected and, uh, very well thought of. Number four, Anthony Stano, the new alleged consigliere or acting consigliere of the Bruno Scarfo clan. He's based out of New Jersey, um, was off the radar for 10, 12 years, went away to prison, came out, kept his head down. Um, we're told now that he is stepping into an admin post and uh, liaisoning with the New York uh, Five Families on behalf of Georgie Borghese and Joe Legambi, Uncle Joe, uh, former acting boss, conciliary, and Stano's protege. Or sorry, Stano's mentor. Stano is Legambi's protege. Uh, brings us to our top three. Number three, Charlie the Hat Stango. We're reporting that he's a new underboss of the DeCalvicante clan. Uh, very respected, very feared, very connected. So Stango, uh, we learned, is actually going to, or uh, has recently just reported to federal prison, and he'll be there for the next year on a uh, a federal fraud case uh, based on a, a lien that was filed back in 2018. So he'll have to do that, but he'll come back out and, and he'll be the number two guy in the Del Calvicante crime family. Um, did his, He's done like a lot of time in prison. These last, I mean, probably 35 of the last 45 years, uh, Charlie the Hat has been locked up. Um, and unfortunately, in, in the life, in the mob, sometimes you don't reach your pinnacle um, of your career accolade-wise or, or position-wise until you're in your 70s or 80s. Charlie is, is 82, but a spry 82. Um, brings us to our top two. Number two, uh, Bo Filippelli from the Gambinos, probably the most powerful uh, of the five family, or probably the most powerful representative of the five families in New Jersey right now. Bo is a, and I call him a sleeper. I mean, I don't, he doesn't really get talked about when, when a lot of people talk about the, the biggest shot callers in the, in the mafia in New York. Uh, maybe that's because he's, he spends a lot of time in New Jersey, but um, Bo has, has the ear of, the Sicilians that run the Gambinos, he's, he's close to Lorenzo, he's close to um, Lenny D. So 
you know, this guy is a force to be reckoned with. Number one, uh, the only true Don in New Jersey right now is Charlie Big Ears Majuri. Uh, another, this is this is a, a, a good fellow's good fella, a guy that's been around the life, it, you know, all 84 years that he's been on this earth. His dad um, was a boss or was an administrator and a, a guy that had a lot of a lot of juice back in the day. And Charlie was a capo. He sat on a ruling panel for a while. And then um, about 10 years ago uh, was uh, ascended to, to the boss spot when John Riggi uh, and uh, John Riggi and um, Frank Arachi were, were on their last legs, dying of old age and, and cancer respectively. Big ears took the big chair and, uh, we're talking about underrated or sleepers, you know, he's got to be one of those guys that you talk about as most underrated bosses in, in, in the country in terms of LCN. Um, Cause Charlie big ears is again, somebody that needs no introduction anywhere he goes in America and is quietly leading the decal Picante crime family right now. That's our top 10 New Jersey LCN power rankings for the fall of 2024. Please like, share, and subscribe to OG Pod. Um, uncovering the underworld, one city, one country, one story at a time. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out. Mm -hmm.